We're gonna look at how to do an overhead squat. It's exactly like it sounds. We're gonna have weight over our head and squat down with it. Um, so Shelly, go ahead and push that weight over your head. You'll notice we're using a PVC pipe instead of a barbell. That's just for this demonstration. Um, Shelly, go ahead and show us what it looks like. All right, then if you'll face me so they can see it from the side. All right, good, and then now you can face back to them. All right, go ahead and bring your bar down. So to find your bar position, um, you want to get a wide grip and bend at the waist, and that bar should be right in the crease of your hips. So Shelly, do it where you have your hand positions too close and bend. You'll notice how it's down on her legs. And if, it was, if her hands were too wide, it would be up here. So you want it, again, to where that bar is right in your crease. All right, now go ahead and bring it overhead. So when you bring it overhead, you want to press up as high as you can. So she's not just relaxed with this. I mean, her shoulders are engaged, her elbows are locked out. She's taking all the muscles in her body to press that overhead. And then Shelly, will you go ahead and face that way so we can look at it from the side? And then notice in the starting position how that barbell is lined up with her hips and her um, ankles. So go ahead and do a squat for us and then back up. So imagine if there was weight on this bar, how unstable that would be. That's the reason we want to get it over your center of gravity. We want to keep this bar over the center of gravity, which is your ankles. Um, Shelly, go ahead and do another one. Notice how that bar stays over her ankles the entire time. Go ahead and come up. Um, so to keep it over your ankles, what that looks like is, notice when she goes down, her torso is slightly going forward, but that bar needs to come back a little bit to stay over her ankles. Then when she squats back up, it kind of goes forward relative to her torso. Again, the most important thing, no matter what your body does, that bar needs to stay over your, um, over your ankles. And now notice in the starting position um, how that bar is not too forward or not too far back. So go ahead and bring it forward like you just had it. Again, imagine if there's weight on there, that bar is gonna come falling forward. Now bring it a little bit too far back, same thing, it's gonna come back. Now Shelly, go ahead and do a squat where you don't, where you leave it too far forward. Again, if she's back here, it's going forward. All right, bring it back in, do another one in good position. So again, you want it right over your ankles. And in this position, you don't wanna relax. This is the most important point to be fully engaged. You're trying to press that bar up as high as you can. All right, Shelly, you can go ahead and bring that down. So now let's look at what one looks like when you do it with weight. And remember, all squats are the same from the waist down. Her feet position, getting below parallel, all of that's the same. She's gonna put that bar on her back. Then she's gonna do what we call a push press to get it overhead. And now there's weight on the bar. Now it's a good bit more difficult. She's fully engaged. Go ahead and do a squat. And then up. Then bring it back to your back. Good, and rack it. Overhead squat is great for flexibility. That's people's biggest issue when they first start because it stretches all of your body out. But it's also great for stabilizing the joints and um, making the joints stronger to keep them safer. And then also core work. I know we say that a lot, but Squats work so well for your core, especially the overhead squat, because it's fully engaged trying to keep that weight balanced overhead. 